Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my first upgrade on the Ender 3 Pro. Uh, it's going to be the motor spacer slash support by Super Vitex. It's found on Thingiverse. Uh, and all you have to do to get this is uh, click over here on the download all files. Wait for it. It's going to pop up in your downloads. You go to your downloads folder, you uh, extract it, and it's going to extract it into the same place. Click on the files. I'm going to use version 2 for this one. So you're going to want the spacer bottom and the spacer side. We're going to open up our, uh, I'm going to use Ultimaker Cura for my slicer. You can use whatever slicer you want. I have had good luck with Ultimaker Cura and it's uh, free to download. So. I will first be placing the bottom in and what I want to do is give it a quick 90 degree rotation, get it flat on that bed. Oh, actually I want to get off the rotation, we'll just undo that. And then we are going to move it over a little bit and make uh, room for the uh, side shim. So we'll go back to the file. We'll drop in the spacer side, and again, we are going to rotate that. When we click on that one, we can rotate that down 90 degrees. It just locks into place. We'll give it a little bit more space in between there. Uh, for this print, they recommend a 0.2 layer height with a 50% infill. Um, if you look uh, on Thingiverse, if you're not familiar with it, usually they will give you the uh, settings that they use to get their results. So we got a resolution of 0.2 and a 50% infill. Uh, here's kind of what it will look like when it's all done and installed. Uh, here's what the files look like. And when we go back to Kira, we're just going to have our settings in and we're going to hit slice. We'll save that to the file where you I do recommend saving it to your desktop and then transferring it from desktop into your um, SD card I've had bad luck with saving it directly to SD card uh, if you've had better luck by all means do it this is just the way I do it so 3d I, I've just created a little 3d printer file I'm gonna call it I'll leave it the default name and we're going to hit save. Now that's ready to transfer over to your SD card and we're going to throw it on the printer and we'll get it printed out. It should take about 50 minutes for this one. I just need to pop these off the uh, bed real quick. And yeah, it looks like they're going to come right on up. Easy peasy. I'll unplug the machine. We're going to flip it around so we can get at the back side where these shims go. So we're going to be working right in here. All we need to do is pop this motor off. We'll uh, pop the shims in and pop it back into place. It should be pretty easy to do. So if you've seen my assembly video, you know that these little just mounts right into the uh, rail here with, with two two screws. We should be able to take these out and slide that shim in the back. Slide this out of the way. These shims are pretty basic. This one this goes right in there, kind of helps the motor mount. This one has little grooves for where the uh, screws are going to go through. That way it'll sit nice and level. Let's just get these uh, screws going. It'll give us some good support, gives us something to sit on. Gets a little bit back away from the uh, rail a little bit more to help with the binding. Once these screws are in, it will look like 
it always belonged. And it's all done. I went in very easy, simple upgrade. No, not too much trouble at all. Uh, just gives that little shim. Let's see how, oh, it feels like it's just going super smooth right now. A lot less binding. This, that little bit of shim made all the difference and then hopefully get us some better results on our prints as well. Well, thank you for watching that upgrade video. It was short and simple, but uh, it looks like it worked good. So uh, if you uh, want to see more videos like this and the step-by-step -step that I'm going to go through uh, to upgrade this, uh, please subscribe and I'll uh, take you along the journey. <laughs> Have a good night.